Islam, Islam, peace and love, peace, love, and energy, energy, energy. I am Shade Renee L, all rights reserved, and I'm back at it again with another video. And today I'm actually just going to be doing a quick video in regards to understanding the flag per usual. I'm just going to read straight through it. Um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you to all my donations. Shout out to my brother TL, brother Abaco Bay, sister Juanel. May your donations come back 10 times fold, 100 times fold. And uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, subscribe. And with that being said, per usual, I'm just going to read straight through it. All right. And also for the record, I am not a lawyer. I am not here to give any type of legal advice. If you need legal advice, I suggest you seek it. And it reads as follows. Understanding the flag. Flag. Everything moving in commerce is a vessel. Spaceships, satellites, seagoing ships, planes, buses, automobiles, the mails, persons, and believe it or not, contracts. Just as a ship must fly a flag to designate its nationality, laws of contract, your paperwork needs to display a flag in order to establish who you are and what law you will use to contract. All right, moving right along. The law of the flag, an international law, which is recognized by every nation of the planet, is defined as a rule to the effect that a vessel is a part of the territory of the nation whose flag she flies. The term is used to designate the right under which a ship owner who sends his vessel into a foreign port gives notice by his flag to all who enter into contracts with the shipmaster that he intends the law of the flag to regulate those contracts and that they must either submit to its operation or not to contract with him or his agents at all. Now that's Russia versus people. All right, scrolling down, we have here the Jolly Roger. This is a popular one. Most times we make special appearances, we, tuh, there you have it, standing right there, the Jolly Roger. All right, Jolly Roger, and it reads as follows. If you come upon a flag that is not recognized in international law, it is a pirate flag. Anything attached to a Title IV USC 1, 2 flag, example, that gold fringe, that gold fringe, guess what? It mutilates the flag and under Title IV USC 3 carries a one year prison term. The gold fringe is an added color and represents color of law when placed upon the Title IV USC flag. The fringe is a mutilation. It suspends the constitution and establishes color of law. The gold fringe flag that utilizes color of law and pretends to be the American flag is not the American flag of peace. It is a pirate flag and it is your warning as to whom and what you are about to do business with. Army Regulation 260-10 states that the gold fringe may be used only in regimental colors, the president's flag, for a military courts marshal and for the flags used at military recruiting centers. Damn shame. All right, registration. Let's see, I was just there. Go up a little bit. Registration. When you register yourself, you record formally and exactly in a list or the like with a registrar. A registrar is an officer who has the custody and charge of keeping of a registry or what register. What really is a registry? Generally, a registry applies to vessels in foreign commerce. When we register ourselves, we have recreated ourselves as vessels in foreign commerce. Stamp. All vessels charge a freight fee to deliver their cargo. Likewise, we must pay a freight fee as the authority to deliver our cargo. Example, the paperwork we send needs to have a stamp on it. The paper is the vessel. The words are the cargo. The flag designates the law and the stamp shows that we have paid the fee to deliver our cargo. Place the colored flag in the upper left-hand corner as you are looking at the page. 
the bunny blue is what I use. Um, well, the bunny blue is not what I use, but this is what it reads. And place a dollar stamp in the upper right hand corner. And you can take that information that you wanted. I mail different as a national, but that's a whole nother video. I'll read as follows. Write your autograph over the stamp to cancel it, thus making you the postmaster. Whatever flag you choose to use, remember not to use the gold fringe flag, as that is under their jurisdiction and not your common law jurisdiction. Or again, in my case, it would be me as a foreign national melon. But again, that's a whole nother video. Y'all not ready for that yet. And I'll read as follows, registered. Use registered mail to identify your vessel. This places your document slash vessel into international law and gives it recognition in international commerce. This is another assertion that you are in fact foreign to their jurisdiction they are trying to place you under. This number now becomes the case number for all and any paperwork related to the first document sent. All right. And this is the last one I have is courts. The flag in the court is the court's advertisement of the laws governing their contracts. If you do not wish to contract with these courts, then jurisdiction must be challenged. In order to correctly challenge jurisdiction, you must remember Gertie versus Logan, six Bush KY8, which states, it is an elementary rule of pleading that a plea to the jurisdiction is a tactic admission that the court has the right to judge in the case and is a waiver to all exception to the jurisdiction, which means that if you plea, you have waived your rights and wait, you have waived your rights to challenge jurisdiction, excuse me. And when the judge attempts to enter a plea for you and says that the state statutes allow him to do, tell, do so, tell him no, that he cannot practice law from the bench. Facts, I'll repeat. And when the judge attempts to enter a plea for you and says that the state statutes allow him to do so, tell him no that he cannot practice law from the bench and that he is not your attorney and that you do not give her permission to act on your behalf. All right. And as I said previously, this is gonna be just gonna be a really quick video. Um, gonna hit you guys with another one, so stay tuned. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, please like, share, subscribe. Go ahead and hit the like button. Um, other than that, much peace and love, study well, study all things, keep that which is good, Islam, Islam isn't, peace, oh, of course, per usual, free baby Ashe, free baby Ashe, peace and love.